familiar message. All right, all right. All right. Ain't nobody dead, but turn to John the 14th chapter. I know it's not a funeral, that's the funeral scripture, but won't you turn with me? I can explain it on a day like today. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, lest I forget, before I forget that, our choir has been requested uh, the same from uh, the funeral from Stephen Taylor on Saturday. That's at uh, Pleasant Hill at 11 o'clock. Uh, Pastor Matty White Jennings has asked that I will preside and that I will uh, choir will sing for them at that funeral. That's her brother and that's uh, Saturday at 11 o'clock at Pleasant Hill. Now, what I said to you? Alright, uh, sure I got the right message. St. <laughs> John, the 14th chapter, uh, verse 6. I'm sorry, verse 8. Says, uh, Philip said unto him, Lord, show us uh, the Father. And it suffices us. That'll be enough. That, that's all we need. And Jesus said unto him, him uh, I've been so long a time with you. And yet hast thou not known me? And Philip, uh, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have seen the Father. How sayest thou, show us the Father? All right. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, yeah. and the Father is in me? Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, right. but the Father that dwelleth in me, Lord. he doeth the way. Yeah. Believe me that I am in the Father, yeah. and the Father in me. Or else believe me, Father, the very works he said. That in the very I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Ye yes. shall ask anything in my name, oh. I will do it. Oh. But there's another scripture uh, in Jeremiah the 8th chapter. I'll reference verse 18 through 22, but uh, verse 20 in the 8th chapter of Jeremiah, you can write it and read it later, says, uh, hmm. The harvest is past. Right. The summer is ended. Yeah. And we are not saved. Uh -huh. The harvest is past. Uh -huh. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Uh -huh. that, that's to say a, a, a lot of times, the time has been right, and the seasons have come and gone. Uh -huh. Will not say. In John the 14th chapter, uh, verse 9, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long a time with you? And yet has thou not known me yet? Wanna use for our subject today after all this time. Oh, all right. After all this time. You had to use that phrase. Yeah. All right. Waiting on somebody. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just to find out that they didn't show up. Yeah. Your words are right, after all this time. I could have been to go. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, 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 I could have called somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but after all. <laughs> But after all this time, uh, you have to understand. Yeah. And the reason I, I don't like to preach familiar text, but I would like to 
do something with this one because there's so much in there that we misquote and misunderstand. Yeah. Yeah. And the reality is, in John, the 14th chapter, yeah. it begins in the 13th chapter. In other words, phrase, chapter 13 through 17 yeah. really should not be divided in chapters. Uh -huh. It was one discourse. It was one. It was one lesson. It was one uh, event. Uh -huh. It was one lesson yeah. that Jesus gave to his disciples. Yeah. Now, uh, the reason why it's important yeah. that we keep this in context uh -huh. is because this chapter deals more with and gives more insight mm -hmm. to the death of Jesus Christ yeah. and what should follow or what should happen to those that believe on him. All right. Now I told you the other day that you can be saved and not be a Christian. Yeah. But you probably can't be a Christian and not be saved. Yeah. Yeah. And most plainly, you can believe on the Father, yeah. but not believe on the Son. Yeah. But if you only believe on the Father and uh -huh. not believe on the Son, uh -huh. you cannot be saved. Yeah. Amen. All right. Oh, 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 yeah. Most folk believe that there is a higher being. Yeah. They don't know him. That's why they call him the man upstairs. Y'all yeah. understand? Yeah. That's what I say about my neighbor whose name I don't know. I said a man across the street. Y'all know yeah. that? So when folk don't know God, they just say, uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. The man upstairs. Yeah. I'm not ashamed of him. There's a lot of men upstairs, but when I tell you I've been blessed, I'm telling you I was blessed by the living God. It wasn't the man upstairs. No more than it was the man. Oh, yes, yes. The truth has 
the life. And that day it was customary that whenever you were going somewhere, if the army was going somewhere, they had a small segment of soldiers that would lead the way and tread out of path. Yeah. Make sure that it was safe for the rest of the army to come on through. This is what Jesus had to do. He had to tread a path. He had to go through death. So that when you and I got it, you know what I'm saying? God would not have the same effect on us that it would have had had he not died first. When Jesus died, he took the sting out of death. Jesus said, I am the way. In other words, every person is ultimately trying to get back to the Father. He has to go by me. Then in the eighth verse, Philip says to him, Lord, show us the Father then. And that will be enough for us. If you just showing to us, you've been talking about it. Yeah. If we could just put our eye on it, yeah. that would be enough for us. My Lord, my Lord. Praise the Lord. In the 22nd place, Thomas, or Judas rather, not Judas, it's God. Said, uh, how is it that you're going to manifest yourself to us yeah. and not to the world? Yeah. They all had questions yeah. about what Jesus was saying. Yeah. And some of us have questions all right. about his word. Yeah. Yeah. And yet we won't come to Sunday school or yeah. Bible study. Yeah. Yeah. We won't pick up our Bible. To try to find out more about his word. Yeah. Fine. Whatever you don't understand, uh -huh. yeah. your answer is in his word. Yeah. Yeah. These questions that the disciples had for Jesus, yeah. they have helped uh, all of us believers. To better be able to understand him. Amen. I'm glad that Peter asked him, uh -huh. why can I go with you? Yeah. I'm glad that Thomas asked him, all right, all right. how can we know the way? Yeah. I'm glad that Philip asked him yeah. to show us the fun. Right. All of this arose because Jesus after having supper with the disciples. Yeah. And, uh, he told them the hour was at hand. Yeah. When uh, uh, the son of man that is Jesus himself yeah. uh, uh, was going to have to go and be given over to the hand of evil men. That uh, he was going to be given over to the high priest. Yeah. And to the scribes. Yeah. And uh, they would take him and crucify him mm -hmm. and put him to death. Yeah. And these men who had been following Jesus now uh -huh. uh, for three and a half years yeah. had grown accustomed to uh -huh. Jesus solving all of oh, their yeah. problems. Yes. Oh, yeah. They got used to him yeah. working out every issue yeah. and taking care of uh, that need. Yeah. Some of us here you know it's hard uh, when somebody has helped you oh, all yeah. the way. Yeah. And uh, when that source of help has disappeared or yeah. uh, something has happened uh, yeah. to them, yeah. you know how helpless you feel yeah. when somebody has supplied your need yeah. and all of a sudden the well has run dry. Yeah. 